Welcome in here, everybody, to the Hutzel Athletic Center. We're bringing you our second game here of our doubleheader. It is the number five at ranked Indiana Wesleyan Wildcats coming in to take on the St. Francis Cougars. Indiana Wesleyan coming into this one at 20 and a 3 on the season, 11 and 1 in a conference play. Meanwhile, St. Francis, they come into this one at 12 and 11 in a 5 and 8 in a conference play. St. Francis rocking a little bit of a short bench here as they have been a majority of the season battling a lot of energies here, injuries here, especially on senior day as they recognize you saw number 13 and Garrett Atlards, the senior alone one here for the St. Francis squad. So we are going to get our prayer here momentarily and we will come back with the starting lineups here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. Let's go ahead and run down our starting lineups first for the Indiana Wesleyan Wildcats. Number five ranked in NAIA 20 and 3 and 11 and 1 in conference play. They will roll out with the 6 2 guard, a red shirt senior from Indianapolis, Indiana. Number 20 and Noah Smith. The junior guard standing at six foot from Lee's Summit, Missouri. It's number 21 and Griffin Clewer. The sophomore 6'3 forward from Lafayette, Indiana, number 22, and Javon Buchanan. The uh, freshman 6'5 guard from Greenwood, Indiana, number 30, and Marcus Inkney. And uh, then uh, the 6'6 graduate transfer from Indiana University is Zionsville, Indiana, forward, uh, number 42, and uh, Nathan uh, Childress. And for the St. Francis Cougars, it'll be the sophomore guard standing at six foot from Salzburg, Indiana number two, and Brandon Northern, the junior guard from 6'3", from Fort Wayne, Indiana number four, and Zane Burke, the junior 6'3", guard from LaGrange, Indiana number five, and Charlie Yoder, the freshman guard 6'2", from Noblesville, Indiana number 10, and Luke Almond-Dovar, and then the freshman 6'8", forward, from the great Indiana number 32, and Isaiah Malone. St. Francis, as I mentioned, rocking a little bit of a short bench here. As Garrett Otlarge, Jackson Gowdy, Tyson Ower, and Aaron Etherington all out, all forwards here for this St. Francis squad. So they're going to have to rock a little bit of a small game. Joe Reedy is out as well with a cast on his left hand. And so St. Francis, as I mentioned, playing a little bit of a short bench here. Uh, Zach Hubbard, Jake Cherry, Chase Bachelor, Rashid Simpson, and uh, Joey Bamba. And Dorian Sanders, the only players on St. Francis' bench. And four out of the five are guards. And so it will be Malone and Childress to jump it. And we are set and underway here from the Hutzel Athletic Center as the tip is one here to St. Francis. And they'll have possession to begin this one. Playing against the number five ranked team in NAIA, the Indiana Wesleyan Wildcats. Buchanan with a drive, offensive foul called on Buchanan. That's the first team foul and the first one of the contest. As Javen Buchanan picks up his first foul. And it'll be an inbound here from Almondovar who gets it into Northern. And it's tipped ahead, Almondovar able to catch up to it. He'll have it here now on this near side of wing, the drive and 
Tried to draw the contact, but didn't get it. And so possession comes down to the Wildcats on the other end. The drive and bucket is good from Marcus Ankeny. Northern will have it now here for St. Francis. Yoder extra pass, three ball on the way. It's going to ride a home there for St. Burton. And it will be possession. Now here with the Wildcats. As it'll be up top, Buchanan skips on that far side. Now into the hands of Smith. Back up top here to Buchanan. Looking to drive down low. Kicks here in the corner. Oh, skip it up top all the way around on that far side. Smith's going to launch a three. He'll hit it. Noah Smith with the triple there for Indiana Wesleyan. Out to now to a two-point lead. Yoder will have it on that far side. He'll look to drive here with it. Has Burke out here near his side. Just gets it off to him. Burke, hands off. Amendola will launch a three. Couldn't get that one to fall. And Buchanan comes down with the board here for Indiana Wesleyan. Looking to move quickly up ahead. Buchanan with a kick out. Smith from deep. Got it. Noah Smith with back-to-back -back triples here for Indiana Wesleyan. And then extends their lead out to 2-5. Almondovar with the drive down low. Had it blocked, able to come away with it. Tried to skip it out to Yoder here on this near side. Quickly up the floor, Childress with the rolling late in there for the bucket. And so it'll be possession. Now here with the Cougars as Northern. We'll have it on that far side of wing. Almondovar skips up top now here to Malone. With it. Guarded by Buchanan. Burke able to maintain it here for St. Francis. Far side, it's poked in the air, and possession comes back. Now here for Indiana Wesley and Buchanan with a lob to Childress. Tried to keep it in bounce and does. Kicks it here near side, and a foul is going to be called. Isaiah Malone will pick up the foul. That's going to be his first, team's first of the quarter. Seven-point lead now here for the Wildcats. And they're going to put 25 seconds on the shot clock here. 17-16 left to go here in our first quarter of action. And so we finally get the inbound here from Smith. As he gets it in on that far side to Childress. Back to Smith. And the clock did not start. We'll get another inbound here for Indiana Wesleyan. And so they're going to put 17-10 on the game clock and 19 seconds on the shot clock now. And we'll get it inbound from Smith onto that far side. He'll get it back now with it on that far side of wing. Dishes it off. Kick here on this near side to Smith. Looking to drive down low and couldn't get it to fall there. And Yoder. Comes away with it here for St. Francis. He'll drive into Childress. Northern now with it on that far side of wing. Out to Yoder. Yoder skips here. Almondovar near side wing. Triple. Got it. Luke Almondovar hits the three ball there for St. Francis. Buchanan will get it back on that far side of wing. Skips it on up top. Inkney with it. Smith, the dish down low here to Buchanan. Buchanan goes up and couldn't get it to go. Childress tips it back to Buchanan. He'll go up again and nicely done there. He gets the bucket. Burke 
Now going to have it up ahead here for St. Francis. Off to Northern. With it here now on this near side of wing. And we're going to get a foul called. And we'll reset the clock here as I did not start it on time. My apologies. Double duties here. 15.58 on the clock. We'll get an inbound here for St. Francis. As Buchanan will come out. And number two, Kyle Sanders, the junior, will come on here for Indiana Wesleyan. Northern will have it up top here for the Cougars. Skips here on this near side to Malone. Back to Northern. He'll launch a three from deep. Brandon Northern hits the deep triple. And so it'll be possession. Now here with Indiana Wesleyan. As Smith gets it up the floor here to Childress. Now up top here into the hands of Ankney. Ankney dishes it down low. Childress looking to go up. He'll kick far side and a three ball on the way. It is up and good there for Kyle Sanders. And so that is one thing St. Francis is going to have to play crucial with is keeping Isaiah Malone out of foul trouble. And he's doing a great job here so far on the defensive end, trying not to draw a little too much contact here as he already has one foul on the contest. And so trying to stay out of it as a three ball on the other end for Luke Coleman Dovar. So both teams rain in triples here early. Three of four from beyond the arc for St. Francis and three of three from beyond the arc for Indiana Wesleyan. Check it, four of five from beyond the arc for St. Francis. All baskets are three-pointers. The drive down low and the bucket is good there from Kuehler. And so to be Northern. We'll move it up ahead now here for St. Francis. Almendovar now with it here on this near side of wing. Gets it off to Yoder. Yoder now looking to drive. He'll maintain it back to Northern in the corner. Three ball on the way. It is no good there. And Smith comes down with the board here for Indiana Wesleyan. He'll have it at the top of the key. Skips there on that far side. Three ball on that far end. It's no good there from Kuehler. And possession comes down to St. Francis. And a shot clock did not start. And so we'll get a stop clock by the official. And we will head here into our media timeout with 13.47 left to go. It's a five-point lead for Indiana Wesleyan. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Off the inbound here for St. Francis. They'll have the basketball as Northern gets it to Malone with it here on this near side. Back far side now Northern with it. And off Almendovar. Now going to drive. He'll go up strong. Nicely done there. Luke Almendovar using the strength to get the bucket. Now 
Far side, it's Childress with it. Here for Indiana Wesleyan. Kicks out. And the drive from Inkney. Couldn't get that one to fall. And Burt comes out with possession now here for the Cougars. Yoder now with it on that far side, guarded by DJ Moore. Yoder looking to work in down low. Kicks to Burke with it here now on this near side wing. Yoder going to pull up from deep. Couldn't get that one to fall. And the board comes down to Kuehler. Quickly up ahead now. Moore with it. Kicks out far side. A three ball on the way. It is no good. And Almondovar now going to look to push the floor. He'll launch a three from deep. And, oh, rattles in and out there for him. And that one's last touch by Charlie Yoder. And so possession. We'll go back to Indiana Wesleyan here with the 12, 34 left to go. Javon Buchanan will come back on here for Indiana Wesleyan as he'll replace Nathan Childress. And we'll get an inbound here for the Wildcats. 12.34 left here in our first. And it will be Moore who will bring it up ahead here for the Wildcats as he gets it across the half-court line. Skips here now into the hands of Kuehler. Look down low for Buchanan. Help side defense. And they're going to call a foul on Luke Almondovar. Give a little too much contact there. And so that will be his first foul of the contest. The team's second. And so we'll get it under... Inbound underneath here for Indiana Wesleyan as Moore will be set to inbound here for the Wildcats. Sanders back to Moore with it on that far side. Sanders, Agni now off the hands of Buchanan. He'll go far side. Moore will launch a three. Got it. DJ Moore hits the triple there for Indiana Wesleyan. The transfer out of Liberty University. And substitutions as Joey Bamba will come on here for St. Francis. Meanwhile, Noah Smith will check back on here for Indiana Wesleyan as he replaces number 30 and Marcus Ankney. And so it will be Northern who will move it up ahead now here for St. Francis down six. With it on that far side of wing. Skips it on up top. Almondovar going to drive down low. And he'll draw the contact. And a foul will be called. Foul's going to be called on number 20. And Noah Smith. That's going to be his first. The team's third. And so that's going to send the freshman. Luke Almondovar to the free throw line. 18 points per game. An 83% free throw shooter. Here for St. Francis, one of the top freshmen uh, I've seen in the Crossroads League. An outstanding, gritty player here as he hits on the first free throw. Was an Indiana All-Star in high school as well. As he is the freshman out of Noblesville, Indiana, Noblesville High School graduate. As his second one is up and off the back end of the iron. Childress will come on. Here for Indiana Wesleyan and replace Kyle Sanders. It'll be Buchanan who will have it at the top of the key. He'll skip it. Back now to Childress with it here on this near side. Hand off to Kuehler. Look down low. Now Buchanan with it. Looking to drive here on Malone. Buchanan going to go up strong. Nicely done there. He gets around Malone for the bucket. And so it will be possession. Now here with the Cougars as Northern gets it off to Burke. They go far side now into the hands of Joey Bamba. Burke back with it here near side. Northern up top. Looking for a screen here from Malone is able to get it. Buchanan comes out on him. They'll go far side. Bamba with the triple there for the Cougars. And so a four point lead now here for Indiana Wesleyan. Near side. Smith to look down low. Buchanan looking to post up. Bamba jumps in. Jump ball called and possession. No, we'll stay on this end here with Indiana Wesleyan as they maintain the possession arrow with 10.50 left to go here in our first half of action. 
We'll get an inbound here for Smith and the Wildcats. But before that, we'll get a substitution as a late one. Marcus Ankney will come into the contest as he replaces number 21 and Griffin Kuehler. And so we'll get the inbound here. They get it up top. Childress will launch a three. He got it. Nathan Childress, the graduate Indiana University. That is right, the D1 transfer here for the Wildcats. Drayton to the triple there for them. 10.30 left to go. It's Almond Dovar with it on that far side wing. Screen from Malone. He'll slip. Almond Dovar, the drive down low. Couldn't get that one to fall. And board stepped out to Moore. Quickly ahead. Buchanan, Euro step move. Gets around. Couldn't get that one to fall. And Burke comes away with it now here for St. Francis. They'll have it on that far side wing. Off to Northern with it at the top of the key. Northern looking to drive down low. Goes up. Oh, couldn't get it to fall. Buchanan comes away with it. Quickly up ahead. They'll look to go in. Childress kept. Oh, it looked like he stepped out of bounds there, but is able to maintain his footing, but he threw it away. So either way, it does not matter as Northern will have it now here for the Cougars with it here on this near side. Amadovar over the top to Malone. He'll go up. Oh, couldn't get it to fall there for the N1 opportunity. But Isaiah Malone will head to the free throw line out of our media timeout. They'll call the foul on DJ Moore. That'll be his first team third. And we'll get our media timeout. So we will step away. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center out of the timeout. It is a 25 to 18 lead here for Indiana Wesleyan over St. Francis. 9 to 35 left to go here in our first half of action. And so we will get a pair of free throws at the line from the freshman. Here for St. Francis and Isaiah Malone, the six foot eight freshman out of LaGrange, Indiana, filling a big role down low as Aaron Etherington suffered a season ending injury, did the graduate. And so Isaiah Malone stepping in to fill that role underneath here for St. Francis as he hits both free throws there for the Cougars. And so a five-point lead now here for Indiana Wesleyan here in our first half of action. It's Buchanan who gets it off on this near side here to Smith. Back up top, Buchanan will launch a three off the back end of the iron. It falls directly into the hands of Smith, and he'll get it off. The drive from Kuehler on this near side. They'll go back side to Smith. Buchanan now with it. Skips all the way across court. Extra pass, three ball on the way, and it is up and good there for Griffin Kuehler. And so it will be Northern. We will now have it here for St. Francis at the top of the key, guarded by Smith. Nine minutes left to go here in our first half. Yoder will have it here on this near side, looking to work down low. Yoder, tremendous strength going up, and a foul is called. And Yoder did a tremendous job there, drawing contact, and it will head to the line to shoot a pair as that foul is called 
on a number 21. And Griffin Keeler, that's his first. The team's fifth of our first half. And Charlie Yoder will now be at the free throw line to shoot a pair here for St. Francis. First free throw for Yoder is up and good. Charlie Yoder is the transfer junior guard out of Increment World University. Played as high school basketball. Just over a half an hour to 45 minutes away from St. Francis out at Westview High School. And so he knocks down both three throws and possession will be with Indiana Wesleyan. On this near side, three ball is no good and possession comes down now here for the Cougars. Northern skips far side. Burke with it, gets it off to Yoder. We'll have it on that far side of wing. Looking for Burke to come around to it and does. They skip it off to Bamba with it here on this near side. Yoder with it, 13 on the shot clock. Able to maintain it here for the Cougars and it's ripped away by Smith and possession will go to Indiana Wesley and as Yoder picks up the foul for the Cougars. So Dorian Sanders will come in here for St. Francis. As they'll give Isaiah Malone a little breather. That foul on Yoder was the first foul called on him in the team's third of the quarter. And so we will get Smith, who will bring it ahead here for Indiana Wesleyan. Off to Buchanan. It's it off. They'll go back to Smith now with it here on this near side of wing. Look at the drive, kicks far side, three ball on the way. It is no good, Yoder comes down with the board here for the Cougars. He'll move it across the half court line. Gets it off into the hands of Northern. Far side, Bamba now with it here for St. Francis. Far side, Northern left open, Try, did not shoot the three, had an opportunity to, instead held on to it and kept the offensive possession alive as Bamba rises up from deep and hits the triple. Smith will now move it up ahead there on that far side of wing here for the Wildcats. He'll drive down low, nicely done defensively by Sanders. And so Northern will have it on that far side wing, guarded by Buchanan. Dishes off to Yoder, ooh, couldn't come away with it cleanly. And Buchanan now gonna move it up ahead. And Bamba gonna get on the deck and maintain it here for St. Francis. Back and forth basketball we have here from the hut. That's Northern. We'll have it at the top of the key, guarded by Smith. Kicks here near side. Burke, the running floater on the baseline. He hits it. And so a one-point lead now here for the Wildcats. Smith will bring it across, and we will get a timeout called by Indiana Wesley. And so we will step away. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Sanders going to look to drive. He'll go up, draws the contact, could get it to go. Yoder comes down with it. Will reset out to Northern. Crossover, step back, three ball, no good there. And the board comes down now here for the Wildcats. As Ankney move it up ahead. He slipped up and no travel called. And possession stays on this end as Indiana Wesleyan couldn't hit the three, so it doesn't matter either way as Northern will have it now here for the Cougars. Gets it into Yoder. Guarded by Gould, he'll kick out. Northern from deep, got it. Brandon Northern hits the triple for St. Francis. Puts them out to a two-point lead as we're under five left to go here in our first half. as Joey Bamba will pick up the foul. It's gonna be his first, team's fourth. And Luke Amendovar will check back into the contest and we'll get a officials timeout. So we'll step away and watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center as we'll get an inbound here underneath from Brown. We'll get it in there to Moore on this near side, Gould. This is it. They get it back into the corner here to Brown. Gould will launch a three from deep. Jackson Gould hits the triple there for Indiana Wesleyan. My apologies, Javen Buchanan is number 22 for the Wildcats. Uh, so he'll be guarding Zane Burke. Now with it on that far side. Uh, it's 4.15 left to go. The drive from Almond Tovar. Nicely done there. He gets the bucket. Smith kicks out far side. Buchanan now with it at the top of the key. Skips here in the corner. Gould from deep. Got it. And so Jackson Gould with back-to-back -back triples for the Wildcats. And he puts them out to two, a two-point lead. 3.45 left to go. It's Northern with it on that far side. He'll spin. Hanks couldn't get it to fall. Yoder came down with the board. Couldn't get it. And nicely done defensively by Bamba to get it off to Northern. And he'll have possession on that far side. Looking to drive. Javen Buchanan with the takeaway. He'll get it out. And another three from Gould is no good. Buchanan comes down with the board. Kicks out near side. Smith will launch a three, no good. And Northern comes away with it. Yoder will have it on that far side now here for St. Francis. Looking to slow it down as it's up top into the hands there of Brandon Northern. Burke with it here near side. Gets Buchanan to jump. He'll launch up. The shot couldn't get it to fall. Buchanan comes down with it on this near side. Kuehler launches a three. No good. And the board comes down now here into the hands of Almond Tovar. And a timeout is going to be called here by St. Francis. We'll step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. As 37-35 is our score. Indiana Wesleyan with a two-point lead at 239 left to go. So my apologies here, folks. Doing a little multi-duties all the way around here. Running the scoreboard, the clock, and broadcasting the game. Kind of hard to do. So we'll move on. Malone, a nicely done there. Down low, he gets the bucket. As it's Smith, who will have it now on this near side for the Wildcats. Anthony Gould now back to Smith with it here near side. Look at it down low here to Buchanan. Skips up top, Smith, extra pass far side. Gould hits or launches from deep, couldn't get it to fall. Board tipped on a bounce and possession will go back to St. Francis. So we are knotted up. Here at 37 apiece. As Almondofar bounce to Burke and he'll get it back now and bring it up ahead here for the Cougars. Almondovar will have it on that far side wing. Had it poked away and we're going to get a foul called. As number 30, Marcus Hackney picks up the foul. That's going to be his first to team's sixth. 
And we'll get an inbound on that far side here from Burke. Almendovar will have it on that far side. And we'll stop the clock as the clock started just a bit late here. And so we'll reset it up as Burke will head back to that far side and inbound here for St. Francis. Childress and Cleaver come on here for Indiana Wesleyan. As we are now set and good to go with the clock here at the Hutzel Athletic Center. And it's Almondovar who goes to Burke with it on that far side over to Sanders. Now with it, it's it up top to Almondovar. Nine seconds on the shot clock. We'll get a screen from Malone. They'll get it to him. He'll drive. Offensive foul is called on Isaiah Malone. Nicely done there underneath by Noah Smith to set his feet and draw the foul. And we'll get an inbound here for the Wildcats as Isaiah Malone will check out with the two fouls. And for him will be number two and Brandon Northern. And so it'll be Smith who will bring it up ahead for the Wildcats. It's it across the half court line. Childress back to Smith with it here on this near side of wing. Buchanan skips it out. And Cleaver comes away with it here for Indiana Wesleyan. Far side, three ball on the way. It is up and good there by Marcus Ankney. And so a three-point lead here for the Wildcats. One minute left to go here in our first half. It's Northern with it on that far side of wing. Dishes it down low. Now here to Yoder, guarded by Javen Buchanan. Skips it cross court out to Burke. He gets the defender to jump. They'll go back in the corner. Sanders will launch a three. No good. Board tipped down, and Javen Buchanan comes away with it. He'll move it up the floor. Try to get it far side. Almendovar catches up to it, but is out of bounds on that far side. And possession will stay on this end. Here with the Wildcats. The clock will... Stay at 34 and a half seconds, 20 seconds on the shot clock. So 14 and a half second difference between the, the shot clock and game clock. As they'll inbound, Childress with it. He'll put it up high. Nicely done there. He gets the bucket. And so Northern will move it up ahead with 25 seconds left to go here in our first half. And St. Francis, I believe, is going to look to hold for the final shot here of our first half of action as Northern is guarded by Smith, 13 seconds. He'll get a screen from Burke with it here on this near side. Northern, the drive goes up and drew the contact, but no call. Quickly the other way, far side. Smith at the buzzer, no good there. And that is the end of our first half of action. Hey, Francis Cougars, network.
back here live at the Hutzel Athletic Center here at our halftime break. It is Indiana Wesleyan 42, St. Francis 37. Let's go ahead and run down the halftime stats for you. First for the Indiana Wesleyan Wildcats, it was Marcus Ankney who led the way with eight points. Nathan Childress with seven. Jackson Gould with six. Noah Smith with six. Griffin Cleaver with five. Javen Buchanan with four. DJ Moore with a three, and Kyle Sanders with a three for the Wildcats. Meanwhile, for St. Francis, it was Luke Almondovar who led the way with 11. Joey Bamba with a nine. Brandon Northern with six. Zane Burke with five. Isaiah Malone with four. And a Charlie Yoder with a two points. Indiana Wesleyan shot 50% from the field, 16 of 32, 10 of 21 from beyond the arc. And they did not attempt a free throw there in the first half of action. Meanwhile, for St. Francis, they shot 12 of 26, 46.2% from field goal range, 8 of 14 from beyond the arc, and 5 of 6 from the free throw line. Indiana Wesleyan wins the rebounding battle 16 to 15 there in the first half. It was five turnovers for St. Francis and two for Indiana Wesleyan. And so we're going to go ahead and step away, take one more break. We'll come back with the second half of action. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live at the Hudson Athletic Center here out of our halftime break. We move in to our second half of action. It is Indiana Wesleyan with a 42 to 37 lead over St. Francis. And so it will be St. Francis with the basketball here to begin our second half of action. Brandon Northern. We'll head to that far side and inbound here for the Cougars. And so they'll inbound here to Zane Burke. And he'll bring it across the half court line here for St. Francis. Northern now with it on this near side, able to get it off here to Burke. 
Burke looking to drive up top. Northern three ball at the top of the key. Rattles in and out. Yoder comes away with the board. Javen Buchanan providing the defense on that far side for Indiana Wesleyan. Northern now off to Yoder. Looking to spin. Kicks out to Northern. Thought about launching a three. Instead going to drive down low. Nice touch there off the glass for the bucket. Indiana Wesleyan. The number five team in NAIA sitting at number two in Crossroads League of Play. And they're looking to try to keep things rolling. Meanwhile, St. Francis trying to get back into the winning side of things before the Crossroads League attorney as they have a tough schedule ahead of them as Yoder goes up strong and gets the bucket. On this near side, it is number 20. And Noah Smith with it. Look a bit off now to Buchanan. Far side into the hands. And a look down low. Childress looking to go up strong. He'll go up and get the bucket. No, Nathan Childress now with nine points. Here for Indiana Wesleyan. Almond Dovar will have it on that far side here for the Cougars. Northern. Now with it up top. Far side, now to Malone. Off to Burke, looking to drive down low. He'll go up, and one opportunity for Zane Burke. And he has a chance to tie this ball game up at 44 with 18 minutes left to go. We're in our second half. As uh, foul is called on Noah Smith, that's going to be his first. Team's first of the half. And so Zane Burke will be at the line to shoot one. Looking to tie it up here, 18-11. We'll have to go here in our second half of action. Burke's free throw is up. He got it. So we're knotted up here at 44. With 18.08 left to go. It's Smith. We'll move it to the top of the key here for Indiana Wesleyan. Childress now with it up top. This is it down low. Buchanan with it here for Wesleyan. Far side. Smith looking to spin. Hangs out to Childress. He'll launch a three. No good off the front end of the rim. And Almondovar comes down with the board here for the Cougars. Burke now with it. Oh, nice pass there to Northern. He'll look to drive out to Burke. Three ball on the way. Oh, short on the marker. Yoder with the board, and he gets the bucket. And the Cougars now with a two-point lead. Here, 17-25 left. Smith will launch a three. Off to back into the iron. Board comes down, though, to Childress, and they'll launch it inside. A nice find there as... Griffin Cleaver was left wide open down low, and he gets the bucket. Burke will now have it at the top of the key here for the Cougars. Moves it to that far side, Almond Dovar. They're a drive, nice lay in there. Running the baseline, Luke Almond. Dovar gets the bucket. And Smith will get it on that far side. Buchanan now there. To Anthony with it. Look down low to Childress. With it far side and a nice find there. Smith goes up and gets the bucket. And so St. Francis struggling to find players to guard down low as that is where a lot of Indiana Wesleyan's buckets have come the last few possessions. It's just the drive and the pass running the baseline down low. Malone hangs with it, and he puts it home. Smith skips it. They go now on that far side. Cleaver dishes it off to Smith. The drive around Malone for the bucket. We're knotted up at 50 apiece. Northern. We'll now have it here on this near side wing for the Kooks. Up top, Almondovar. We'll move it here to this near side of wing. It's a screen from Yoder. So let's play it out. Try to find Yoder there. Childress takes it away. Euro step move around Burke for the bucket. 
And it'll be Northern who will bring it up ahead now for St. Francis. Hand off now to Burke. Far side, Almondovar. Up top to Burke, he'll launch a three. Got it, Zane Burke drains the triple. For St. Francis, with 15 minutes left to go here in our second half of action. Childress leaves it off. Looking to drive is Smith down low, blocked there by Malone. Yoder comes away with it here for the Cougars. And it'll be Northern who will bring it up ahead now here for St. Francis across the half court line. Northern gets it off to Burke. Now up top, Almondovar with it. He'll get it off to Malone. Buchanan trying to rip it away. Malone hangs with it, goes up, couldn't get it to fall. And the board comes down to Childress. Up ahead, the drive, oh, blocked there by Omidovar. What a swat. Northern now here with it. Gets it off. Burke spins, hangs, buckets. What a sequence of plays there for St. Francis. The block by Almondovar, and then Zane Burke with a very, very nice spin move down low to get the score. And 14 minutes left. It is St. Francis out to a three-point lead. Far side, the three ball on the other end. It's good there for Cleaver. And a timeout is going to be called here by Indiana Wesleyan with 13.54 left here in our first half of action. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. It'll be an inbound here for St. Francis tied up at 55 apiece. 13.54 left to go here in our second half of action. And so it'll be Northern who will bring it up ahead. DJ Moore checks into the game here for Indiana Wesleyan. Dorian Sanders and Joey Bamba come on here for St. Francis. As Malone guarded by Buchanan down low. Moore got a hand on it. And was able to take it away, but St. Francis takes it back. Bamba with it. Moore able to get up to it. And Indiana Wesleyan keeps possession. Buchanan, the drive. Northern tips it out. Nicely done defensively there by Northern. And we're going to get a media timeout on the floor. So we will step away here one more time. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. It'll be an inbound here for Indiana Wesleyan as DJ Moore will be underneath here to inbound for the Wildcats. Moore will get it in here to Buchanan. With it here on this near side, they hand off. Dish down low, Buchanan goes up, blocked from behind there by Malone, and that's the last touch by Buchanan. And so possession will go back now here to the Cougars. As Northern picked up immediately by Moore, and the clock did not start. And so Zane Burke will walk the duration of the court and inbound once again here for the Cougars. And so Burke able to get it in here to Northern. And he'll move it across the half-court line, guarded by Moore. Malone, back to Northern, with it here near side, he'll drive. Oh, Northern couldn't get it to go. I believe that was partially tipped by Buchanan. He'll get it back, the drive, and he goes up and gets the bucket. Northern, up ahead to Sanders, back to Northern here near side. Sanders gets it off, now Northern. Here with it, the drive down low, Hangs couldn't get it to fall. And the board comes down now here for the Wildcats. Moore quickly up the floor, out far side, three ball, got it. Kyle Sanders hits the triple for the Wildcats. Now ahead here by five, and the Wildcat faithful fired up here at the Hutzel Athletic Center. Burke now with it here near side. Cross court, Sanders, Bamba. Now with it on that far side of wing. Gets it off to Burke, and we're gonna get a foul called underneath on the floor on the Wildcats. As Sanders will pick up the foul for Indiana Wesleyan. It'll be his first team second. Luke Amendovar will come back on here for the Cougars as he replaces Brandon Northern. Inbound underneath here for Bamba. And the officials telling the Indiana Wesley, Wesley and Wildcat bench to take a seat. As the bucket is good there for Luke Allman. Novar will match up the clock at 11.55 left to go. We're in our second half. Free throw line jumpers off the back end of the iron. Mayor Ford, Inkley, and Almondovar comes down with it here for St. Francis. Almondovar to Bamba with it here near side of wing. Looking for a guard to go to, goes up top. Burke launches a three, couldn't get it to go. Off the front end of the rim, and possession comes down now here for the Wildcats. They get it out here on this near side, Cleaver. And Almond Tovar able to maintain it though for St. Francis as Burke moves it up ahead. Tried to hand off here to Bamba, it's poked away. Sanders, oh my goodness, blocked there by Malone. Are you serious? Isaiah Malone with a swat there for St. Francis. Almond Tovar. Now with it here for the Cougars as I did not start the clock once again. And so 10.45 left to go. Burke the drive, he gets the bucket. And it's Moore with it up ahead. Now Buchanan looking to work now here on Burke. Malone comes over and Moore down low, he gets the bucket. And so it's Tom and Novar, who will have it on that far side wing. Now here for the Cougars, as they are down three. We'll get a screen from Malone. Almondovar step back. He'll dish it down low to Burke. Goes up and it's going to spin home. And we're going to get a 
timeouts on the floor here by the Cougars. We'll step away here watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center, it is a one-point lead here for Indiana Wesley and the number five team ranked in NAIA, and they will have the basketball out of the timeout called by head coach Chad LaCrosse and the St. Francis Cougars. And so both squads with three timeouts remaining. So we'll correct that here, foul is called. Luke Almendovar will pick up the foul. That's his second, the team's first of the half. And we'll get an inbound underneath here for Indiana Wesleyan. That's the inbound to Buchanan with it on that far side. Looking to post up on Bamba. Skips it. Childress now off into the hands of Moore. Gould. This is it down low, and now here to Buchanan. Cannon go, tries to go cross court to Moore. It's poked out of bounds there by St. Francis. And we'll get an inbound here for the Wildcats with eight seconds on the shot clock. Gold will inbound here for the Wildcats. Gets it in here to Moore with it. Far side there, now into the hands of Smith. Childress back to Moore here, near side. Three ball, got it. DJ Moore hits the triple there for Indiana Wesleyan. And it's Almondovar who will have it on that far side wing. Looking for a little ISO action on Childress. Skips it all the way back now here to Northern. On this near side, Sanders off to Almondovar. He'll launch it from three. Got it. Luke Almondovar hits the triple at the top of the key. Smith. Off to Buchanan on this near side. Moore looking to drive here on Northern. Moore spins, kicks far side. Childress now with it. He'll drive with the floater down low. No good. Board tipped out. Moore comes out with it. Out to Gould. He'll launch a three. No good off the back end of the iron. And another offensive board for the Wildcats. Buchanan will hand off. Check it. Keep it himself with it here on this near side of wing. Buchanan goes up and foul is going to be called as Buchanan threw up the shoulder. Just a size advantage between him and Joey Bamba and Bamba will pick up the foul. Burke will come back on here for St. Francis and replace Sanders. Isaiah Malone will check back on here for the Cougars as he replaces Joey Bamba. It'll be Smith to inbound underneath with eight We'll have to go here in our second half of action.
Smith. Far side now to Moore. Moore had it poked away. Yoder comes away with it on Childress. He'll drop it out. They kick out. Almondovar for three. Got it. Luke Almondovar hits the triple. Gives St. Francis the lead. Gould on this near side. Buchanan able to maintain it now here for Indiana Wesleyan. Childress now with it on that far side guarded by Yoder. Smith kicks out. Gould looking to run the baseline here for Indiana Wesleyan. Gould slipped up a little bit. He's able to get it off here to Buchanan who goes up strong. Couldn't get it to fall. Malone comes down with the board here for the Cougars. 7.30 left to go here in our second half. It's Northern with it here now for St. Francis. Northern guarded by Moore up top. He'll get a screen here from Malone. Northern far side. Burt thought about the three instead looking to drive here on Buchanan. Five seconds on the shot clock. Norfolk here for St. Francis. Gets it off now here to Yoder. Yoder out to Burke. Burke had it poked away by Moore. Moore dishes it off. Buchanan goes up, and he'll get the bucket off glass. Northern will now move it up ahead here for the Cougars. With it at the top of the key, he'll look to drive. Swatted there by Buchanan. Looking to push the floor. Buchanan off to Gould. He'll spin. Hangs, swatted by Malone, but a foul is called. And that's going to be Malone's third, the team's third of the half. And so that's going to send Jackson Gould to the free throw line to shoot a pair here for Indiana Wesleyan. The Warsaw High School graduate not too far here out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Two and a half points per game, a 64% free throw shooter. Already has two triples on the night and misses there on the first. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center, 5.54 left to go here in our second half of action. It is a four-point lead here for Indiana Wesleyan as Northern one bound right in front of the lead. Almond Tovar makes it a three-point lead as he drains the triple. The freshman hits the three. St. Francis now needs a stop here on the defensive end. Buchanan. Will launch from three. Couldn't get that one to go. And Malone comes away with it. Northern up ahead now here to Burke. Back to Northern. With it here on this near side of wing. Northern off to Burke. He'll get Buchanan to come out. And he'll have it here on this near side. Northern back to Burke with it. The dish down low. Yoder up top. Hallman Dovar. Triple time. Luke Almondovar hits the triple, and we're tied up at 73 apiece. Up at 73 apiece. The spin from Childress knocked away by Malone. Almondovar on the hot streak. He'll go up and could get that one to fall down low. And possession comes down now here for Wesleyan. Far side, Childress up top. Noah Smith, extra pass here on this near side. Griffin Cleaver gets the defenders to jump. Could get it to roll home, and Malone comes down with it here for St. Francis. Northern will have it here on this near side wing. Move it to the top of the key. Hands off. Almondovar now with it here for the Cougars. Almondovar gets a screen from Malone. 
They'll have it on that far side. Shot clock now down to 10. Almondovar with it. Kicks out. Yoder now the drive. He'll go up off glass. He gets the bucket. Charlie Yoder using the strength there for St. Francis. 3.35 left to go. And a timeout is going to be called by Indiana Wesley and the Cougars rolling. Two-point lead here for them. 3.35 left to go. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live at the Hutzel Athletic Center. It's a two-point lead here for St. Francis. 3.33 left to go, and the Cougars are rolling. And it is a tremendous contest here at the Hutzel Athletic Center as we'll get an inbound here for Indiana Wesley and right in front of their bench. It will be number 20, and Noah Smith to inbound. He'll get it in here to Moore. Hildris, the handoff, now here to Cleaver on this near side, Moore back with it. Gets it off to Buchanan, back out to Moore, he'll launch a three, got it. And tremendous play drawn up there by Indiana Wesley and to force the double team down low and to just leave Moore open on the outside and he launches the triple there for the Wildcats and gives them the one point lead. Burke with it at the top of the key. He'll kick far side, Yoder. Now the drive, he'll go up on Buchanan, couldn't get it to fall, but he draws the contact. And Charlie Yoder will head to the line to shoot a pair here for St. Francis. Foul is on Buchanan, that's gonna be his third, team's third of the half. And so Charlie Yoder, the junior, at the line to shoot a pair. His first free throw is up and it's gonna roll home. Yoder averaging 18 points per game, 84% from the free throw line. Joey Bamba will check out of the contest. Luke Allman Tovar will come on here for him. And Yoder. Yoder will have a shot at one more here for St. Francis. His second free throw is up and good. And so Yoder hits them both. One point lead here for the Cougars. As we are now down to 250 left to go. Childress with the handoff up top. Acne thought, or excuse me, Cleaver thought about shooting the three and said they go inside. Buchanan now with it. On Burke, that's blocked out of bounds. And possession will stay on this end here with the Wildcats as they'll inbound underneath. Coming here from Smith. So a one point lead here for St. Francis. Smith able to get it in. Now here on this near side to Childress. Cleaver, far side, Moore, the three, no good. Northern couldn't come away with it. And it's on that far side now here for Indiana Wesleyan. Moore looking to drive, kicks here near side. Cleaver, foul is gonna be called. Northern tried to stay in front of him there a little bit to force him from going by. And he'll pick up the foul. And that's gonna be Northern's first, the team's fourth. And so it's going to be an inbound here right in front of the Wildcats bench. Coming here from Noah Smith. He'll get it in now here to DJ Moore. With it at the top of the key. On this near side now, Buchanan. Looking to drive. He'll go up and Buchanan draws the contact and a foul is going to be called on Isaiah Malone and that is going to be Malone's fourth foul the team's fifth of the quarter and that's going to send Javen Buchanan to the free throw line the sophomore 
was the 2022-23 Hall Crossroads League freshman team. 19 and a half points per game here on this season with an 83% from the free throw line. He hits there on the first free throw. So both teams with one timeout left. I'll have to update that here for you as Buchanan does hit the step to go. It is St. Francis with possession. Northern with it here on this near side of wing. Gets it out. Now up top here to Zane Burke. We'll move it here to this near side. Burke picked up his dribble. Goes far side now to Yoder. Yoder with it. Out to Northern. Five seconds on the shot clock. Northern. This is it off. Yoder launches a three. No good there. And didn't hit anything. And so a shot clock violation will be called. And possession will go back now to the Wildcats. Here with 131. We'll have to go here in our second half. Joey Bamba will check into the contest for the Cougars as he'll replace Isaiah Malone. I believe those two are going to work as a defensive offensive substitution for the remainder of this one as Malone with four fouls here on the evening doesn't want to pick up with it now. He'll back it out on that far side wing. Up ahead now here to Northern. One minute left to go here in our second half of action. It's Burke with it here. Looking to work down low out to Northern. Thought about the three instead dribbled in. And great defense played. Northern out to Yoder with it here near side. Eight seconds left. Yoder, the drive down low, couldn't get it to go, and nothing called. Possession will go back to the Wildcats as there is going to be about a nine-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock here. As it's Buchanan who dishes it up top. Now to Smith. Moore leaves it off. Childress hands off to Buchanan. Buchanan with it. Nice move there. Off glass, he gets the bucket. And St. Francis quickly up the floor. Northern is fouled with 8.8 .8 seconds left to go. And we'll get an inbound here for the Cougars. As it will be Burt to inbound four team fouls on the Wildcats. Five team fouls on St. Francis. And I believe we're going to. Get a timeout called here by St. Francis. And so we will step away here momentarily. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. We'll get an inbound here for Northern and the Cougars. 8.8 .8 seconds on the clock. And I believe they have to wait for this timeout here on the scoreboard to run out. So they'll let the clock run down. And so now 8.8 uh, .8 .8 seconds left to go. It'll be an inbound here. Zero seconds on the shot clock. It's a three-point lead here for the Wildcats. As they get it into Malone. Oh, just gave it away there to Buchanan. And Buchanan jams it home. Yeah. 
And Jay Van Buchanan with the jam. And that is going to finish it off as he finishes this contest. And the Indiana Wesley and Wildcats are going to win this game as they're fixing the clock here at the Hutzel Athletic Center. And Javen Buchanan slams it home for this one. And that is our contest. So the number five ranked team in NAIA gives a huge test from the St. Francis Cougars and they win this one 82 to 77. And they improve to 21. Or excuse me, 22 and 3 on the year and 13 and 2 in conference play. Meanwhile, St. Francis falls to 12 and 13 and 5 and 10 in a conference play. And so we'll run down the final stats here for you. It was Javen Buchanan who finished the game with 16 points. DJ Moore with 14. Nathan Childress with 11. Noah Smith and Griffin Cleaver both with 10. Marcus Ankney with 8. Jackson Gould with 7. And Kyle Sanders with a 6 for Indiana Wesleyan. Meanwhile, for St. Francis, it was Luke Almondovar, the freshman, with 27 points. Zane Burke with 17. Charlie Yoder with 10. Joey Bama with 9. Brandon Northern with 8. And Isaiah Malone with 6 points for St. Francis. And so... The Cougars, as I mentioned, fall to 12 and 13 on the year, 5 and 10 in a conference play. And they will have another contest back here at the Hutzel Athletic Center on a Wednesday where we'll have a doubleheader with Mount Vernon Nazarene University. 5 p.m. start for the women's day and 7 p.m. start for the men's. Until next time, you have been watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. <laughs>